Well, hello, YouTube. This is Joey Anderson coming at you again from the Weave in the Void. And once again, we're taking a look at an adventurous tale, the point and click game. Um, I believe this is going to be episode number eight. Um, if you didn't see the previous episodes, you go back and check those out. Um, the last episode, we took a look at uh, getting cameras set up. Oh, collider issue. So that when you talk to a guy, the camera angles change. And when you're not talking to him anymore, it goes back to the main casting camera. Um, so I figured for the next episode, what we'd do is get into dialogue um, scenarios. So yeah, let's take a look at that real quick. So if you remember from the last episode, we had our blueprint set up to look something like this. And this is where we were doing the casting from the cameras and whatnot and then here was the dialogue sequence so this is what calls the dialogue sequence and we're going to take a look at how we can make that to where you have options and can have an actual conversation with the NPC so that name has to correspond with your row name for your dialogue and I think I covered how to create this table in a previous video. If I didn't, let me know and we can cover that. But I think if I remember right, I covered how to make that. And if I didn't, I know it's covered in the documentation. I'm pretty sure anyways. So anyways, let's take a look at that. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Sheriff's Lore. So let's collapse all these. So you have your these. Right? So when you first talk to him, it goes in numerical order. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's how it goes. So we want him, when we approach him, to greet us. Okay? So we're going to put spoken text. How it goes it? Okay. Then what we're going to want it to do, we're going to want it to call a options menu up for us so that we can choose what we want to say to him. So we're going to go down here to, this is where you put your visuals, so you put your speaker's name, and um, we'll talk about tags here in a little bit. But on completion, so the next dialogue sequence, we want to be number one, because that's going to be the very next sequence. Okay? So we talk to him, he greets us, now we're on to sequence number one. Now. Number one, we don't want spoken text. We want options. We want to pick what we want to say. So we're going to create response options. Okay? So you click this and it adds this element. So then we can put, good morning, Sheriff. How are you, or how are things today? Right? Or we can put, now I just have this as, uh, oh, I didn't put that. Let's put number one, uh, number two. Number three, so these will be other options that we can have, right? So number four, I put, I'll be going now. And if that's the last one, like if you're like, uh, you know, if that's what you want to cancel the dialogue, you need to check this in dialogue sequence on selection. So when you select this option, you're going to end the dialogue sequence. You're going to end everything and you're going to go back to your main camera. Okay, so we have, good morning, Sheriff, how are things today, right? Next dialogue index on selection. So where do we want it to go after we select this, right? Number two. So this is where we put in the response to what we say to number two. And I'll show you how this all looks in a second. So we greet him, the NPC. We tell it to go to the next index after he greets us. We pull up an options menu. These are our response options. Then you have as many of these as you want. So on option number zero, good morning, Sheriff, how are things today? We're gonna click that. And then we told it to go to sequence number two here. So now it's gonna go to number two. And then this is where we set up the visuals here. Who says it, Sheriff Otterman? Well enough, blah, blah, blah. 
where do we want it to go after this? Do we want the dialog to be done? We could we could tell it to be done here. We could end dialog on sequence here. Or we could tell it to go back to the options menu, which was number one. So we tell it to go back to number one to give us those options again. So now let's take a look at how that looks in game. Give it a second. We're going to go talk to the sheriff. So he greets us, right? Here's our options menu, okay? So we have good morning, sheriff. How are things today? We have one, two, three, and then I'll be going. So we're going to click on this one. That pulls up the next sequence. Right? We read that. Now it's going to tell us to go, and now we're going to click, and it's going to go back to the options menu to give us our options right now we don't have anything selected for any of these so nothing's gonna happen but if we click this one it, it'll end boom and you're done All right so that's really handy for um, we use it for lore purposes um, in the next video I'll cover conditional dialogue because what we're gonna set up next is okay if we have a book in our inventory right when we go talk to him he's going to give us different dialogue and so setting up this type of dialogue is very important because it gives you options um, that's how you can do lore based things but that's also how you can do quests um, and so we'll be getting this questing dialogue in the next video and I'll actually go in and I'll show how we make conditional based dialogue meaning the state of the scene if you have an item in your inventory, if you've talked to somebody else, you can you can have all of those options so that when you go talk to him, your NPC, it'll pull up a different type of dialogue. Um, but we use the lore dialogue just to be the default so that if there's nothing else going on, you know, this dialogue is always going to be available for you to talk to the sheriff. So yeah, it's kind of a quick video and I know these videos are not coming out as quick as everybody would like them to. Um, forgive me we, we do this project in our spare time and um, now that winter's getting on I should have a lot more spare time to crank out some more of these videos um, so yeah please stay tuned um, links in the description discord you know we have a huge gaming community whole bunch of cool stuff um, uh, tabletop on Sunday nights lots of good things just just check out the links below and uh, stay tuned for more and I uh, appreciate you following along to this point see you later